just uh, do this. Let me let me jump on my Facebook real quick. Make sure we're oh live. Make sure everything's going good. Uh, so today I'm going to ink this area ish. Uh, we'll see how far I get. It's either going to be a two hour or a four hour stream. I just want to crank this page out. We'll, we'll, we'll see if I can get there. Uh, but as you can see on this page, I'm totally out of space on it. But that's okay. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to sketch on the back of a different page. So this will be page 25. 20, yeah, 25, because, yeah, there's 26 pages in this issue, so we got two pages left after this boy, but let's do some sketching. I'm just going to warm up with some sketches. Uh, I'm not going to throw the references up on the stream. The only reason why is sometimes it'll pop up people without clothing, and I would get, I would get, everything would get taken down, uh, so I'm not going to risk that biscuit. But you get to see me drawing it, so that's hopefully just as cool. Uh, we're going to do a lot of poses, because you can see in these panels there's like four or five people per panel. I mean, this one's got like ten, so we got to make sure our full body pose game is on point. Not just hands, not just heads, you know, sometimes that's what I warm up with. Sometimes I warm up with landscapes, different things, but since I'm inking, people... Let's warm up with some people. Let me just make sure I'm in the shot when I start drawing. Okay, there's in the shot. Boop, that's the sweater. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. All right, okay. Hopefully y'all y'all are doing well. It's an interesting time, you know, just trying to kick back and relax, do some drawing. Drawing always helps me relax so maybe it helps you guys relax too or you can draw with me i love to see the shit you draw while you draw with me that would be rad kind of reach relearning re how i draw faces kind of from the ground up i got really weird and like just so much of my own style and not drawing from people and reference enough this dude's in a straight jacket. He's meant to look a little crazy. Um, but, uh, yeah. Drawing helps, man. Having some sort of hobby like that, especially when you're creating something with a hobby. Like, one of my hobbies is collecting comic books. And there's a big uh, YouTube comic book collecting community, which is dope. And I don't mean to take anything away from them, but, like, when you have a hobby and you are making something with that hobby, I think it's a little bit more powerful shall we say but i mean i collect i do i mean a lot of my hobbies aren't making things some are some of them are so i don't mean to bash people who don't make things i think my message is if you can or want to man full steam ahead go for it but i don't want to force nobody into it who don't want to be into it you know everybody's a little bit different it's like a close perspective but it's a stretched it's very stretched down to his legs so usually feet aren't this small compared to a head i could have even made his head a little bit bigger but here let's there's a bed next to him so let's draw that bed so it, it arcs no it arcs pretty downward I was gonna say it arcs pretty pretty hard to the side, but it really doesn't. And the cutoff of the frame is like right there. I don't know, not my best, but it's like my first warm up sketch, so I'll take it as a mulligan. Let's see if adding some shadow in real quick is gonna help, because I got time. I'm doing 500 seconds, so is it 500 or 300? I think it's 300, maybe 500. I don't know. It's like a five minute. My goal is to try to get the sketch done in five minutes. We'll just do a couple of these just to make sure I'm good to go. And don't screw up my uh, actual art. Shadows on this side of his body.
There you go. That looks a little bit more like him. All right, let's do the next one. This is like a robe to dude. He's jacked though. <laughs> He's like a cult member who works out. <laughs> I like his hood. I've been trying to get better at John Hoods because the uh, main character in the black costume art warrior comic, uh, he has a hood. And hoods can be tricky to draw them correctly. It's like the Spider-Man. I mean, both the characters have difficult head features. Uh, my white costume art warrior has uh, the Spider-Man head shape. And if you've heard any artist talk about the Spider-Man head shape, it is notoriously difficult to draw. It's easy, easy to mess up. So I have that head shape, and then the black costume has the hood, which is, again, sometimes can be at different angles, just as difficult to draw. Don't mean to complain about it, but it's just, uh, I learned a lot in like character design, like really working out your character design first before you jump into projects. Eh, perspective's off, awesome. like his head should be a little bit smaller, but I had got away from me for sure. Got a big old sword. This is like a gladiator cult member. This ain't just no regular cult member. This is a cult member who like takes people on. <laughs> I don't know, can you guys see that? I hope we can kind of see that. Yeah, here, we'll break it down a little bit. Ah. There we go. Now you guys can see a little bit better. Oh, wrong one. Here we go. Boom. His robe extends pretty straight. But his arm is bent, so I really like the fold that it has here where you get something straight and then that diagonal breaking through it. Shapes broken by the inner uh, lines, inner line uh, patterns. So, yeah. Let's draw a couple more. Like like I said, that, that head's kind of out of whack. I just want to get kind of like my good proportions correct. Real quick. They're giving me a lot of cult members. Here we go. We got ballerinas. Let's hope I don't mess up that. <laughs> but they're in motion, so that's good. That's what I want. Uh, I'm just making sure I'm on the screen. There we go. All right, let's draw. Probably more just going to get the shape of them. There's two of them, so this is going to be a good chance to, like, work on the perspective of keeping people the same size in the same shot. You know, making sure every like their heads are at the same place, especially cuz they're they're actually repeating the same position right next to each other. So you get a whole lot of repetition. So if one's bigger than the other, it really kind of jacks with it. Here we go. I'm not sure if the second dancer is a male or female. Their face, there's a, they're looking straight up, so I can't see their hair. They're jacked. Like that's the thing. It's like they're jacked. Good on them, whether they're a guy or a girl. Like they got, they got hops. <laughs> that's the thing with like people who do like ballet, dude. Legit ballet, man. Those dudes are in shape. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Well, I'm feeling kind of good with that. I mean, well, I'll probably do one more because we're going straight to inks. Usually if I was doing pencils, like on my comic page, I'd be like, okay, I'm pretty warmed up. I'm okay. Uh, but since I'm going straight to inks, it's like finished project. We'll do one more little quick sketch, uh, and then we'll get get into the uh, comic drawing. Again, hope 
I've drawn that one so many times. Here we go. This one should be cool. Let's just make sure I'm in the panel. There we go. It's a dude holding the guitar. It's got a good uh, point of view too. Like where I like where it's shot from. This one's gonna be a little bit looser, goosier. You can probably kind of tell already. I'm feeling good, dude. I'm feeling prepped and ready. I've I think we got this, man. Yeah, let's just draw something real quick. Make sure that the mind is working correctly. Let's make sure we know how to draw. Okay, I like that. That those proportions. I think we're ready to just draw. So give me two seconds. I'll be right back, and we'll get to this page. Uno momento, momento, uno momento, por favor. Hey, okay, we're back. Let's go ahead and we're going to work on these panels specifically. So let me just get us in frame here. Cool. Let me just get it in focus. Rad. So we're just going to start with these two panels because it's a little bit there we go. This is where I was trying to get to. So we're going to start with these two panels. They're easier panels than these uh, panels, so we'll ease our way in. Um, so let's rock and roll, dude. So you can see here, these lines are pretty light, but uh, like there's not much shading in there yet. I think we're going to shade it first and then go ahead and throw a couple ink lines in. And then we'll shade it again, probably, and I think we'll be good. Um, do I have my eraser? I saw it. I see it. There it is. <laughs> So I like the top shading, so you guys have seen what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and just, sorry, there we go. Now you can see this panel better. Yeah, rad. Okay, so I don't want to throw a whole... I'll take that. Let's go ahead and throw some ink lines in. We're gonna make this a little bit harder before I really like shade it in. Right now I don't know how hard to shade. 
that makes sense. Like if I, yeah, here we go. I need to define. I need to define the hardest lines where they'll be, where I can really kind of like blast in those shades, and how hard I can blast them in, or if I keep them light. Whatever it is, these black lines thrown in here will help me determine. We're we're gonna we're gonna fix this eye. <laughs> we're not fixing that eye. <laughs> Here, give me it here. I got some white paint next to me, so we'll, we'll go ahead and fix that eye. <laughs> Looks a little jacked. Oh no, does this, is this? Will this work? This white paint doesn't work. I don't have. I got my white paint. Other white paint. I'm working on a mural right now. Here, let's try it. Let's give it a uh, give it a shot. Yeah, I don't know, man. That may. We may have to keep that. For right now, and just kind of work around it. Um, yeah, that is rock hard. <laughs> that is paint that is dry. Oh no! Oh, here, I may have more. Here, let's double check. This is white. Shake well. Ink. Acrylic white. Yay, we found white paint. I have a paintbrush right here. All my paint supplies are somewhere else right now, so I'm a little less is prepared to ink. Usually I have brushes everywhere. <laughs> That's okay. We'll, we'll, we got this. We got this. Alright, let's see if this white ink works. There we go. We're just gonna let that dry. We may need to do another coat, but we'll let just let that bad boy do its thing. Yeah, that's okay. It's gonna dry light, but I can fix that, you know. Kind of see the shine on it. So once that dries, it'd be good to just straight up like save it, cause. Usually that's something in Photoshop that I would like let go, but uh, in this situation it threw off the uh, shading balance of the piece, so it was something I really needed to fix because that's with this character I'm not I'm so that's what I'm trying to figure out is his uh, kind of lighting balance right now. Let's go ahead and continue inking. And just not make another mistake like that, yeah? I think that's a good idea. I think that'll help all of us. Maybe, yeah, yeah, there we go. And the main light source is going to kind of be here. Like, you're not going to necessarily see it. But it's I want, I want them kind of shining off each other, so, yeah. Light, light source is here, so his sh shadows are going to be over here, like on this side, and then his shadows are going to be over here on this side. Just hold it a little tighter here. Yeah, I don't want to get super hard with these inks because I don't want to lose the magic of those pencils. 
That is helping. I like the shape of that head a lot, actually. It's cool to me. It's radical, man. It's straight radical. <laughs> All right. Uh, there we go. Yeah, this area is a little bit tricky just because I'm like, I don't want to go too hard. These pen things, because it's light. You know, that area is very light. So let's figure out what shading is. I think our shading is going to be very kind of like hard and delineated. So instead of a soft, uh, instead of a soft gradient on on oh, on him right here. There we go. That makes sense. Instead of like a soft shading gradient, I think we're going to go more just like harder shades. Here, I'm going to move this a little bit. We're going to turn the camera so I'm not in a weird position. <laughs> That's nice. I, I like not being in a weird position. How's your new year been, man? First two, almost two weeks into it? It's hard to, like, we shouldn't judge anything by the first two weeks or something, but. I've got good, good hopes for it. <laughs> I think a lot of people do. There we go. You can kind of see what I mean by that shading now. Ah! Ah, oh, man, I had us in position. <laughs> Sorry, still, still getting used to the setup. It's a way better setup than I had before, but I'm still not the best with it yet. Okay, so. There we go. There we go. That's getting more three dimensional. Yeah. Oh, it hasn't dried yet. <laughs> I didn't see as much shine, so I was like, oh, I think we're good. No, we weren't. That's more of a watery. That that white we used, you can see it on my finger, uh, is a little bit more watery. So that's why it's taken a little bit longer to dry. It's not a bad thing that it was wa it's watery. I think we're getting there. Yeah. Rad, okay, cool. I like how that's turning out. I don't know, like that. This arm is not quite where I want it to be yet. Found my eraser too, dude. Not eraser. I had my eraser. I found my pencil sharpener, which is always nice. It's good to have a pencil sharpener. There we go. Cool. I like how that looks. Let 
Now we're just working on uh, Mr. Mean King. I'm just kind of pushing the lines that I'd made a little bit more. Like, man, yeah, see, hasn't dried yet. That's okay. Um, pushing these pencil lines a little bit more. They've gotten scuffed up as I've worked on the page. That's the only drawback to these pencils is like, I, I, I can smudge them. I'm not smudging them as bad as I used to when I was younger. Like, back in like, I don't know, I'd say like high school, early 20s, I would uh, just smudge the fuck out of everything when I drew the pencils. Uh, now, and now, going back to these pencils, I'm not smudging them as much. A little bit, but not a whole lot. Not as bad as it used to be, I'll put it that way. There you go. I think he's starting to pop out a little bit more. Yeah, he definitely is. Let's uh, bedazzle up this uh, crown a little bit. Got to always make sure that's looking nice and really fucking fancy. It's the fanciest. Not just fancy, the fanciest. That's at least what the king thinks. Just because it's big doesn't mean it's the best. <laughs> That's what she said. Hydration station. Like that. No. We don't want to smudge it now and ruin what we made. Cause I like the face. I really like the light lines on this dude. At least we just have to redraw the nose. It's not too bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. There's the crown. There we go. Sorry, I got messed up in the overlapping. I really like drawing the fur of his cape. But his crown is actually overlapping in front of the cape. And I did the cape in front of the crown. So that's why I did that. Cape would look good, but it was just in the wrong place. Cool, that's feeling rad. Yeah, buddy. Ah, almost got it here. Let's try that again. The angle on that line was wrong. So let's try that again. Bad. 
There we go. Right, okay, cool. Let's get some ants on this dude. Let's actually go a little bit thinner on this guy. Yeah, this pen's starting to kind of give out on me, but that's okay because we're getting. Super thin lines. There we go. Yeah, I like how thin this pen is for some of this stuff. It works for me if it works for y'all. here I'm really just doing this mostly on the face I don't need to be like like if I were to do all this inking down here on his leg it wouldn't make sense because I want you focusing here on him so the face is gonna get the most contrast out of everything and that's why I'm like kind of going harder with these lines go hard or go home man It's looking good to me though. I enjoy that thoroughly. And now we can jump up to this guy. We'll jump up to this guy. There we go. Staying pretty loose with these inks. You know, not, not trying to push them too hard. That nose just needed to be accented a little bit more for sure though. Wanted to point out at him. There we go. It's looking rad. Kind of remapping a little bit where these uh, main gems are, but that's all right. Left it a little goosey, loose and goosey for myself for that reason. And as I radiate away from the face, I, I hit this area because that's a there's a break in the objects. But uh, as I radiate away from the face, I'm gonna get less strong with these inks. Back here is like shadowed and covered, so it's okay. Again, that I get heavy with the inks.
like that. That white ink is almost done drying because I can feel it like rubbing up on my finger sometimes, or my, my wrist, not wrist, finger, yeah, finger. That's what it was feeling. <laughs> I'm digging this though, man. I, 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 there's something about this like pencil and inking thing that just like it sings to my soul when I see it. I think it's more just has to do with it's less digitally painted, you know. I really want it, my stuff to look like it's not just a hard digital painting. Uh, in my last two prints of some of these issues, it has. Uh, so that's kind of why I'm so focused on this. This one, you know. I'm just gonna scooch it this way just a little bit. That way just a little bit. There we go. Right. Okay. I mean I'm 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 happy with how this is turning out. We'll see. I might I might do a double stream today with you. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you. We may. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing a double stream on these pages, like on on, the, on th this page or like the Art Warrior Journey stuff. But I think we'll be seeing um, either some coloring happen today, probably some, might, maybe some coloring, or I might just look at some comics. We'll see. Either one. You may see me popping back on at some point. Either way, we'll just keep digging and digging and digging. Right. I'm just trying to get this more wispy. There we go, like that, the wispy uh, fur. Let's go ahead and uh, add, add a bit more to this. I like that. Right. There we go. Kind of like that. Nope, nope, too much. That's okay, we'll retry it. Sometimes you take two steps back to go three steps forward. And I hope that's what's going to happen here. And I don't just keep stepping backward. <laughs> Ah, uh, here we go. I know what I would want to do this. It's still in frame. Yep. Yeah, that feels better.
I'm okay with something like that. There we go. He does have darker hair. It's a dark brown. So. We're going to sharpen my pencil here. Yeah, here, let's, let's sharpen it and we'll keep going in some of these pencils. Sometimes you just got to fight with these pages. That's okay. You gotta fight a little bit to get it to be something that you like. He's not looking at him. That's the thing that's like bugging me with his eye. He's not. Oh man, I kind of lost it too. He's not totally looking at him, so we'll just black in that whole eye. There we go. So getting used to how, like how I want to use a pencil. That follows him more. Let's get that like super thin one. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that that looks like the king. Like I guess the way I I, I try I see the king in my head. This represents his uh structure well. Like it's on character for sure. Yeah, that's coming along. We're just going to keep cranking at this. And yeah, in Photoshop, shop, we're going to lighten that iris up to really give him some color in it. But right now, we'll just stick with that. darkening in some of the shadows here on his helmet now kind of know what I'm looking for there we go it's coming along Trying to fill the gaps and give him more gems. I know that doesn't totally read in pencils and inks, but once we slap color on it, dude, it's gonna it's gonna sing, I think. Cause the goal is to kind of have his crown <laughs> vying for your attention in every scene that it's in, just because it's so massive. 
especially for him like it definitely overpowers him it sits too high on his head like it's it's, it's just it you yes it's too much weight for him figuratively literally it's kind of where i where i came with the idea of like and it just matches like his character personality so well He wants to have the biggest and best thing. And if somebody else has it, he has to either steal it or have somebody make something bigger and better. This is feeling good, man. I don't, like I said, it has a feeling that it's like a lot more real too now. And I really, really like that. Check that out. She can do check that out. It's looking cool to me. Ah, too much. There we go. It's feeling a little bit better. Feeling like I'm following my shadows more. There we go. It's going the wrong way though. That should be a little bit lighter. Oops. All right, because we're going light to dark, not dark to light. So let's try that again. Actually harden up some of these lines over here. Yeah, it's cool to me. I'll take that. Cool. We're just beefing up these pencils a bit till I feel like it's like, okay, cool, that's a spot where it's ready for some inks. There we go.
just throwing in loose shadows, man. You know, nothing too crazy with it. It's coming together. Again, it, it's just from here, light to dark, going in both directions. So as we get this way, it does get darker. And as we get closer to his leg, it's going to get darker. Here we go. Look at sharp. Real fucking sharp. Cool. Look at the whole goal is just to keep just jabbing away at it. I'm kind of thinking like in almost in color terms with this. It's like light to dark. Watercolor terms. Light to dark. Yeah. Just digging it in. There we go. Seeing a little bit of fold there in his uh, cape. And it's stuff like this that it's like, if this were to be done with inks, it'd be way too harsh. But since we got pencils, I can bash that in pretty easily. Let's actually get a little bit bigger one. Sec. Uh, okay, let's let's go. That's too big. Let's go for a uh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, because it gets a little bit lost in the sauce here. So this definitely helps bring him out. So much so, yeah. There we go, I like this. There you go. Oh yeah, that's really helping him like just pow pop out at you. <laughs> Catalina wine mixer. Pow. It's a movie I haven't watched in a minute. There we go. Yeah, that really helps.
Radical. Let's go and just keep kind of chopping a couple more ink lines in through here. Yeah. Cool. Let's just keep cranking away at this. There we go. Let's bring it back that way. Just a little tiny bit of a race here. Cool. I think we're getting close to saying he can be done soon. Then we'll jump back to our hero. Ah, well, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we'll move on. Let's cut this back just a little bit. We're almost done. <laughs> I just want to like nail this little section. I need to be cohesive with everything else. And it was till I really started fucking with it again. I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's cool with me. Let's go ahead and attack him just a little bit more because you can see he's a lot more high contrast than him. He's still in a white uniform. He's still very colorful, but the white uniform still needs to have like more contrast. That's all, that's all I'm saying. It needs contrast. <laughs> uh, so let's pump him up with this. There we go, that's a better eye. That's a way better eye. Yeah, yay, we fixed the eye, yay! Wasn't the Muppets that would always be like, yay! It's just you remember like Kermit doing that. Too much on that one, but it's close. There we go. Can you guys see that? No, you can't. Shit, why the? I'm cool with that. 
kind of breaking the rules of what I usually do with folds and clothing, but when it's not working, sometimes you got to change. I like that shadow. We're going to redo that shadow because I did like it. I just didn't like the thick outline I gave it a whole lot. That's okay with me. I'll take that. Here's where we need some inks. Like, we definitely need some inks right up through here. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. It'll work. Pet. That's a. Ooh, we almost. <laughs> that was like the thickest pen nib I have, and we almost are right into it. Ooh, glad I looked before that. That pen hit paper. That would have been bad news bears. There we go. Brad. That does have a lot more contrast into it. Close to it. And now I'm starting to just overwork this piece. So we're going to say that's done. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, buddy. Now we're popping. I love that. Yeah, dude. That's rad. I'm cool with that. Again, as I start to like ink more on top of it. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. We've hit the point that I need to stop working on this panel. <laughs> Which means we'll move on to these guys. So let me just move the camera. Ah. There we go. Ah. Let's go ahead and work on these pages, yeah? Same idea. We'll uh, go in hard with our pencils and then ink and then go back within pencils. And that's how we're doing it. He's going to be shaking paint out of his glove.
I think you can see that more now. That it's a glove? Maybe, maybe not. Who fucking knows? Yeah, you can see the glove now a little bit. Yeah, let's go in with the inks. We're going to change the pen that we're inking with. Yeah, we'll try this one. Just got to make sure I don't go with the wrong nib. Want to make sure his hand has all its fingers, you know, it's, it's built correctly. There we go. Radical. It's looking okay. Cool. Go ahead and pencil that in a little bit more. If we can, come on. All right, there we go. It's looking better. I think we're going to erase the armor. Yeah. We're going to erase the pencils on the armor, but we're not going to erase the pencils on the glove because I really, really dig that. So let's just go through, tighten it up a little bit. It's going to be more spotted shades than actual shades I say that and then do something really weird <laughs> that's okay there we go that's looking a little bit better Nice. Okay, now we're starting to get some rendering that I like. Let's erase that just a little bit. Gonna cut back on that. So there's some other overlapping going on there, but that's okay. Let's go back through with that nib. We're just pushing our corners a bit more. There we 
There we go. I like that. Let's go ahead and keep rendering it. Are we still in frame? Yep, we're still in frame. Yay! Yeah, there we go. Just kind of re-emphasizing my lines. Going to give him some feathered tufts. There we go. Pow. I like how that looks. It's got a little more personality to his kind of overall shape. Oh, ah, yeah. Ah. There you go. Uno momento, por favor. Right. So there we go. It's starting to come along. It's showing some armor here. The, the shoulder guard, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Radical, man. This is coming together. Radical, dude. Yeah, that looks nice. <laughs> Let's make this glove just a little more pumped up. So it really catches your attention. Yeah, that helps. That helps really push it to the foreground. So I'm cool with that. Now we're going to ink in the uh, helmet. Boom, there we go. And it's kind of cool because the, uh, the lighting, if you guys can see this, it's actually going... Here, the lighting goes here on him, and the lighting continues to go that way on him. So, that's kind of cool. I think it's nifty. There we go. Getting just a little bit heavier with the inks. So I'm not going too crazy, especially as, as I get on top, you know. There we go.
cool. Be really gentle with these triangles. There we go. How's that looking? Ooh, it looks good. It looks real good. I'll take it. All right. I don't want to get super, super heavy with the pen, you know? But that's feeling good. Let's go ahead and do a little bit harsher pencils. We'll probably switch back to that pen one more time. <laughs> All right. Give us better uh, palette to work with. Throwing in these more confident uh, shadows. There we go. Ooh, that looks nice. Rad. It's looking nice so far. I like that. There we go. It's really cranking in. I like it up until that spot right there. There we go. It's coming out nice, man. I like it. Bam. Check. Check, check it out. <laughs> I think we're going to pump the outline of him now a little bit because I like him. I'm going to bring the shadows here just a little bit deeper. Yeah, that works for me. All right, now let's ink these guys. So, now we're gonna ink these three dudes. Just going through with that clear pencil, giving that dude a better head shape. Nice to have a good head shape, you know? <laughs> yeah, 
You know, I was going to go to the uh, a different panel. But that's okay. We'll go to this panel, man. I guess I don't mind. <laughs> I apparently really just wanted to work on this one, so we're going for it. There's going to be a lot of pencil work. I'm going to be able to get really noodly with this pencil. Just sharpen it up so I can put in those ink lines because I really want to put in the ink lines. I'm just not quite there yet with these pencils. Yeah, that's better. There you go. You guys can see it taking more shape. Right. They are going to be a little bit darker because they're in the medium ground, right? So he's in the foreground. These guys are in the middle ground. And these guys are going to be in the background. So they're not going to get a whole lot of inks. Uh, these guys are going to get some inks. He's definitely got the most ink lines on him. And I need to cut an ink line through right there. But that's okay. Um, so I'm getting a little bit more deliberate with these lines. Defining where more things are. Adding in some more details. That's kind of what the goal of this step is. Pow. Boom. It's got chainmail armor, so I'm going to make sure that gets shown there we go hopefully I'm not smudging too much ink I don't think so like ah Come on. <laughs> there we go. So we'll go through and just keep a light, light pressure. You know, it might be easier if I did this upside down, to be completely honest with you guys. Just because that way, I wouldn't have to worry about smudging it. <laughs> That's okay. We're doing pretty good so far. That's looking radical. There we go. 
I need to define needed to define that arm shooting out a little bit more. All right, let's go ahead and do inks. I feel like that's prepared enough. No momento, hydration station. Yeah, let's ink. Wrong one. There we go. Just kind of outlining more than anything on these guys. Finding my edges, where these things meet. There you go. And I'm just picking out little bits and pieces here and there to ink. I'm not going too super hard with it. There we go. A little hard on that line, but that's okay. Again, just kind of going in where I'm, where I'm seeing those uh, meetings of points where lines intersect. There we go. There's one face kind of down, which is nice. Let's see if we can get this done. Yeah, okay, cool. Same thing, I'm not going to go super heavy on these lines. Here we go. Definitely coming together now. There we go. There we go. How's that looking for you guys? It's coming together for sure. Hitting those intersections. Giving his uh, helmet just a little bit more detail. How's this looking? Just keep going at it. There we go. I miss I did a couple of the lines like 
not the were not placed correctly on this guy uh the the this knight but that's okay he just looks a little bit long you know it's cuz he is a little bit long that's okay i think we'll still get a good knight out of it There we go. Rad. That was good enough for me. I think color is going to help this section read just a little bit better. And some white out, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and noodle it a bit more. Get our handy dandy pencil sharpener. Pencil sharpener here. Excuse me. There it is. Cool, all right. Just throwing in heavier pencil tones. There we go. Let's ink this line real quick. Separate these guys just a little bit more. Yeah, those are some wonky fucking proportions, but that's okay. I'm not going to beat myself up about it. Be very unnecessary. Those guys feel good to me, man. So let's. Tie them off. Now let's work on this guy. You can kind of see this, see this knight run in the background. He's going to stay pretty pencil, A, because he's not doing anything and he's just running, you know? And B, he's behind these guys. So again, as I get further into the background, I'm going to lighten up the lines so you get less ink lines as you go through. Fortunes feel better on him, though. Sorry, we're going to redrew that head. Redrew? I haven't drawn it yet. Redraw that head. There we go, that's better. Suits him way better. Just 
Try to go with some just basic lighting. There we go. We may ink him a little bit. I think we can throw a couple ink lines in there, but not a whole lot. Definitely not a whole lot. There we go. How's that look? Radical. Cool. Bang these guys out now. Uh, our background nights. We'll, we'll start with the chandelier and this guy first, and then we'll do the crowd of people trying to catch him below. There you go, it's starting to come out more. I'm always worried when I rest my hand over here that I'm going to smudge it, but we're still looking good over here. I think he needs to be inked. Ink! He needs to be ink. He needs to be inked. Try not to be too heavy. Cause he's further away than this guy is, so I don't want him to pop out more. Even though I do want your eye to go to him more, he still needs to be not close, you know? You can do that without harsh lining. Rad. Yeah, that, that makes him pop. He might pop a little too much, but he pops, which is what I want. Let's go back with some pencils. There we go. Now that's starting to feel a little bit more like a shin weird in there. Cool. Let's go through and make these nights a little bit bigger. There we go. It's got a little bit of a long arm. <laughs> but that's okay.
Add another knight here. Just dividing these guys out a little bit more, making them a little bit bigger. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, now we're cooking. Giving gravity to the chandelier. Cool. Let's give these guys a little bit of gravity. Yeah. I'm going to have to pump these guys' outlines up a little bit. Kind of fully get hit with that dark line. Rad. Not trying to over ink these guys. Let's go in with a little bit more pencil on them. I'm not sure you guys will even honestly be able to catch it, but we're just throwing a bit more edge lines in with the pencil, and then we're also shading out some areas. Just a tiny bit more, not a whole lot. That's it's coming along. I think this this panel is honestly done, dude. Yeah. All right, so let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, zoom out a little bit to show you guys how, where we're at with the full page so far. What's up, man? What's up, JT? Man is killer. How you doing, dude? Sorry, I just checked. I just, I just saw the comments. I hope you didn't comment a long time ago. How you doing today? So we can get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there we go. That's kind of what the page is looking so, like so far. Um, yeah, so let's zoom in and keep cranking. Uh, we're going to just keep working until I don't feel like working anymore. <laughs> Today, to be honest with you guys, no real plan of like stopping point. Be cool if I can get the whole page. But if that doesn't quite happen, I still want to just let myself go, go, go. Because that's how I feel. <laughs> Alright, so let's do this area. Just going to pump up some of these shades.
This panel is uh, based on an earlier page, so. This area is based on. Oh, uh, let's see if I can find it. Yeah. Based on this page. So they smash a uh, table full of food and it hits all the knights and everything. They're just making a mess. So uh, this this panel is showing the aftermath of the mess in that specific room. That's what you're looking at. Let's go ahead and keep working on him. It's going to be a top-down lighting. It's nothing too tricky. A little bit nervous about this page, but it's okay. This panel. He's going to get inked first, but yeah. we're going to do a feather duster here in the corner. It's kind of feather dustering the corner of the panel, which is kind of cool. All right, let's go ahead and ink at this a little bit. Or maybe not. Let's add a little bit more of that detailing, contrasting detail. And through here, especially through the eyes. Again, just giving it weight. There we go. <laughs> I like him. Let's go ahead and add some inks in there. There we go. Yeah, he's coming out now. Rad. So this is, uh, since he's in the foreground, it's okay that I add more of these uh, ink lines in. There we go. Brad, I think we're going to go through and erase this area a little bit. I like his face. I don't want to touch his face.
There you go. Shape's definitely there. I like the shape, but I can shade this better. Definitely shade it better. There we go. How's that looking? Is that too dark? I think that's a little bit too dark on his arm for sure. There we go. Sometimes just biting back with the eraser can uh, make it work. All right, let's see if we're ready to, yeah, there we go. Let's try that again. All right, there we go. It's cl <laughs> closer to. There we go. That's a little bit less intense on the arm. There we go. Let's go and do that feather duster. But I think we got to cut back the. Uh... There we go. Yeah, we got to cut back the. Uh. The root, the stem, whatever you want to call this thing. Feather duster. Feather duster. This feels good. We gotta we gotta go through the ink. <sighs> Especially on this side, we gotta make sure this is a little bit stronger. Just because it's gonna be standing out in front of other characters. Same thing. Let's go ahead and make this uh, feather duster. Oh, uh oh, are we lagging? Okay. Um, just got to line it out a little bit. Not a whole lot, a little bit. Okay, there we go. Let's finish out with a little bit of pencil action. We'll move on to the other people. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Works for me. There 
There we go. Oh. Let's line this a little bit. Radical. Dig that a lot. And these other characters, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, uh, oh, come on, man. Chill. These other characters, we're not gonna ink a whole lot. We're gonna do light inks, mostly pencils. So let's go ahead and do that. See? Shit. Hitting everything. Assuming this is a little bit thinner. That's pretty much the same width. Try to keep it weighted. Where the inks are going to be on the ground. It's going to be a pile of like pastries. So, we're not going to get super detailed with the inks on the pastries. Leave that to more pencils. That's feeling good, though. So far, you know? There we go. Yeah, let's pump her up with pencils just a little bit. Let's sharpen our pencils a little bit first. Oh, did I just break it? No, we're good. Kind of broke it. Now I'm breaking it. We'll do a little bit. Oh, yeah, let's just keep pumping in the pencils. Yeah, we gotta throw a little bit more inks on this. Not a whole lot on her. All right. Let's bring the inks here. Got them right here. Is that looking? That's okay.
It's looking better. Go on to the pastries now. Colors are really going to do these pastries their job, their due diligence. See how we're looking on this. We'll get there. I like this guy a lot. He's eating a donut. <laughs> and then we got two dudes walking with glass behind them, so I like I like this panel. Cranking in my pencil tones. Uh, so again, not much inks at all. Especially not with that. Go. Not being super hard with these inks. Letting the pencils do most of the heavy lifting on this guy. Not all of them, but uh, most of them. There we go. Bow. I'm going to be happy with this page. Like, I'm already really stoked with it. I think we, when we get to the complete end, man, I'm going to be like, so jazzed on it. <laughs> All right, so that's, that's where we're at with him. I'd say he's pretty much done, to be honest with you guys. Adding some ink lines, but not a whole lot. Trying to let this area, let the pencils do more of the talking for this area. But we can build that out.
And then for these guys, we'll be even looser on these. Thanks. And then we'll, we'll do a lot more pencil with this stuff. Three, four. Cool. Another guy right here. Same thing. He's just holding the other side. One, two, three, four. Make sure he has four fingers. It's always really important. You don't want him to be some mutant. Unless you are writing a story about mutants like the Axeman. But if you're not, then you don't really need to worry about it. There we go. This is starting to come together. Oops, sorry, it's a little not so good. There we go. Cool. All right. So yeah, you guys can't see too much of the rest of the room, but kind of change that yeah there we go start to come together get you Right. And again, they just kind of, the goal is to have them, each character is kind of receding more and more into the background. So these guys don't got too much to them. Cool. I like that. These characters come together pretty well. This area is pretty flat. If I were putting more focus in this scene, I would do more perspective on it, but it's a quick three hit bang 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 so i don't want too much depth i want the reader just be able to literally read across and they see the panel so we're going to see some broken glass over here I'm not going to get too carried away with it, but I'm just defining this wall a little bit more, especially because it's hard to see for you guys, too. That's like, if it's hard to see for you guys, on the printed edition, I think that means it's going to be hard to see, too, but I could be wrong. Let's actually erase some of this out. It's too hard near him. Be cool with that. Let's erase most of this out.
Let's go ahead and keep going with this glass. Oh, you can't see that, my bad. There we go. Go and leave a little bit of shading up top to kind of like uh, just just encapsulate the characters. No, that's okay. You live and you learn. We'll say that's good. I'm gonna call that good. I don't want to get too noodly with the details. But we'll do this in a couple spots. There we go. Just showing a little bit more of my super, super thin uh, pen in here. It's helping a little bit. Right. That looks more like a complete scene for me. I'm cool with it. Cool with it. Uh, we got another one. All right. I'm going to have to do a lot of defining with the pencil here, and that's a-okay. <laughs> but first... My end is covered in uh, graphite. I think you can see that. Ah, I'm glitching. All right. Well, I'm glitching. We've been doing this for a while. Let's just call it, call it a day. I'm, I'm going to keep cranking on this, this page, but we're going to go ahead and end the filming. But here's where we're at with this page so far. Kind of really liking where we're at. So, yeah. Thanks for checking it out. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day, uh, and uh, take it easy. Catch you next time.